Yo, I can film. Ba ba bum 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 bum. What's up, guys? Yeah, this is still weird as fuck. I have to tell you. <clears throat> so. Uh, so yeah, this video is pretty much about how to build a personal brand or a business simply on, on Instagram Because of course it's very very important Especially if you're building a brand or something like that Maybe you have a, a YouTube channel or you have a website or whatever Having an Instagram page where you can actually sh show you or your products, your services It's major key once you get it Well people are just doing it wrong uh, Of course it's not that's the right way and that's the wrong way but there's a way that helps that's, that's way more efficient and works way better and you will get to results and great results way faster. Make this video too long because there's no reason to, to, to borrow you too long because well that's a thousand steps but this is pretty much just how to get started and if you get these things locked down on how to get started well you're pretty much set to go and the rest kind of comes and goes but I'm going to make way more videos about this. I actually have made a course about this but Forget it, uh, I'm just going to put up all the information, uh, or definitely most of it. So yeah, let's get into it and, and get this started. So, it's all right here, it's all on this little device here, uh, your phone. Uh, that's where you have your Instagram and that's where you can, well, you can build your, your, your personal brand, your business and you can have that financial freedom or, or whatever it is that you are searching for. As I mentioned before, I don't want to make this video too long because I basically just want to get into, well, straight into it there's no reason to bore you with anything else uh, this video just video is already too long with stuff you couldn't give a less about let's get into it uh, yeah i have my computer right here um well i pretty much got my instagram ma instagram mastery course so we're just gonna start straight out today so first and foremost when you start an instagram guys step back take a second because when you start it, just find your purpose. It can be a lot of things. Your purpose could be to motivate people. Your, your, your purpose could be to make people laugh. Your purpose, for example, me, I have, a, I have a page about cars. So my purpose is to not only show um, my love of cars and my passion for cars, but to motivate people to actually go and work for the cars that they dream of. Because if you don't have a purpose, you're simply just working uh, in blindness. So first and foremost, find your purpose. Once you got your purpose, you're gonna choose your niche. Let's say your purpose is to motivate people. Well now you're gonna choose your niche. It's up to you, just find a niche. So once you find your purpose, you will find your niche and you are pretty much good to go. That's kind of the foundations. So we got those tools right. The next thing is actually something you really don't think about being as important, but it actually is and that is choosing the perfect Instagram handle. It's actually pretty damn important. You don't think about it, but people are gonna see that handle. For the love of God, don't make it complicated. Whenever you're building a personal brand, whenever you're building a business uh, on Instagram or whatever, simplicity wins every time. It's simplicity, it's something that you can understand and you, you can easily figure out. So choose a per perfect Instagram handle. After that, choosing your Instagram name. You want a name that, of course, you like, but a name that. So when, for example, me, when I go in and I see your page, uh, it should be a name that tells me what this page is about. It should be the name that tells me about uh, the first two steps um, that I've talked about, which is a, a purpose and niche. So it should be a name that tells me about your niche and your purpose. Uh, for example, again, if your purpose is to motivate people and your niche is within um, motivational quotes and luxury, uh, or just put it luxury because many times that kind of goes hand in hand, uh, it could be, um, again, I don't know, but it, it, it could be uh, the luxury, motivation, that's the worst name ever. <laughs> Uh, sorry if you have that name, by the way, <laughs> uh, but you get my point. So within the name, you should have the purpose and the niche. Um, doesn't have to be both, but just have something that resembles the niche. If your niche is within luxury, of course the name shouldn't be something like zebra um, or cars or something. That would just be stupid. So 
I hope you get my point. So right now you have your purpose, you have your niche, you have an awesome uh, Instagram handle, and now you figure out your name. So now everything's set and go. You have set up your account, it all without even posting and without even having a profile picture and having anything in your in your bio. Well, your Instagram kind of looks good. Makes sense. So what comes afterwards is, is, well, of course you're probably going to find a profile picture. What I would recommend for you, of course if you're building a personal brand, it should be a good and clear picture of yourself. Uh, if it's your, if it's a business, well, I really recommend going to like Fiverr or pay five, ten bucks for somebody to make a logo for you. It's really worth it. A good, simple, branded logo. But then the next thing is the, your bio. Your bio is very, very important. If your bio is the first thing a guest or a person sees when he gets to your account. So your bio should pretty much represent as short as possible what you are representing and what you're going to show and what they can see from this Instagram. Uh, to make it simple, uh, just maybe I, I, I wouldn't say more than five lines to start off with, do like three to five lines where it looks very simple, it looks very good. You can maybe throw an emoji there or not. Just get the attention there that hey, this is what it's about. And if you have a website, put that in your bio and make above the link and just say, hey, click below to check out our website or something like that. And then the last thing I want to say is now you set it all up. You have a purpose, you have a niche, you have the perfect Instagram handle, you have the perfect name, you have an awesome logo, you have the bio. Now you need a call to action. And a call to action is so, so important in businesses. When you make a website, no, sorry, sorry. When you make an Instagram, you have a purpose behind it. Either it is to build your personal brand, it can be to promote your YouTube channel, it can be as a business to promote your product, or it can be anything. You have a purpose behind it. It can also just be because you just want to post pictures. You just want to post pictures of stuff you love. That's how I start. Then do that. But if you have a, a purpose behind it, an action, make a call to action. And again, that's just what I said about the website. That's a call to action. You say, hey, click on click on our website below and it will get you to this and this and that. That's a call to action. And the call to action it has to be mainly in the bio. Now you can also, when you post, which is a good idea, when if you post something, for example, you see it when people are getting sponsored or having an ad or something, they post about the product and say below, hey, click the link in the bio and you will get 15% off. That's a call to action. So call to action is very, very important. It's mainly going to be in the bio and then you can promote it in your posts. Yeah, that's mainly it for this video. Um, I don't want it to make it too long. I have no idea if it is too long. Uh, Nevertheless, I hope this is very help helpful. Help. It's very early in the morning. I just think my brain is still in my bed right now. I'm sleeping. Uh, I will have a lot more videos to come out because I have a lot of content. Like I can keep on scrolling here, um, and and I really want to give it all to you. Um, so yeah, bear with me again. This is uh, this is one of my first videos. I think it's fifth or something. Um, I'm learning as I go. It's just about jumping into it. Uh, so I hope this. I know it's not the best video, but I hope you can see past that and just take out the notes that I've said and implement and try to implement it into your brand new Instagram or an Instagram you already have. Um, other than that, I want to say thank you very much for for listening to me and my awful voice and my very very bad humor and my dog Dina, who's now ran away. Um, 